Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a claymore. I'd like to say that it's based on the one from the original Black Ops, but what I really did was have a bit of a trundle around on Google Images and kind of just pieced together a couple of different claymores. They're, a claymore is a claymore is a claymore. So, before I start, the traditional claymore seems to be one of two colours. It seems to be a really ambiguous yellowy greeny colour, or it seems to just be a really ugly green colour. So, that's really up to you what colour you make it. Mine's going to be yellow with a hint of orange, but you could just as easily have dark green with a hint of lime green. So it's up to you completely, really. So what I'm going to do is... Well, first I have to get the colours out. Let's get our black wool, grey wool, yellow wool, orange wool, red wool. Red wool for the lasers. So... I'm going to make the little pin legs that the claymore stands on, and then I'm going to come back. Alright, so that's what I mean by it sits on two little pin legs. As you can see, that'll be really easy to copy from that. And that's your starting point. All it needs to really do is prop up in a doorway or around a corner somewhere so someone can get blown up by it. So, we're going to start making the outer body now, or the outer lines. So, the outer body starts one block away from the top, this way, and the other way I suppose actually. So, come to the right of that block by five. One, two, three, four, five. Come this way by three. One, two, three. This way by two and etc etc. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that. <clears throat> I'm going to make like the bottom layer of the body and then I'm going to throw some numbers up because it's, it's easy. Once you know where it starts. So I'll be back. <clears throat> right so there you go. Like I said really simple. The reason that it's like bendy is um, claymores have to be shaped that way so that they can cone the blast, so that they can control the blast radius and such, so that you can make sure that you're blowing up somebody's kneecaps. Um, so the only other thing that I can think to do at the moment, other than build the body up, is to add the other legs in, which should be should be looking at the other side. Right here. One block this way. Grey. There. There. Yellow there. Yellow there. Yep, so I'm gonna do the legs and then I'll be back. Alright then. There are the other legs. As you can see, one block below where the body starts. Pretty simple. Pretty simple. And let me give you a sky view just to just to show you. Yep, both in the same place. All right. So now, um, let me find figure out how many. One, two, three. Right. So in this corner, go up by ten with black. One, two, three, four. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and the same again in this corner, and do the same again in this corner and the other corner, the opposite corners. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, <laughs> eight, nine, ten. Right. Now, what you have to do is you've got to join that together. And we're going to make the actual outlines for the top of the claymore, which should line up with the bottom lines. So it's really easy. Just going to copy the bottom of my pixel art. So I don't know off the top of my head um, what the numbers are. Although I do, I do know that this middle part is seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So you can see what I'm doing. I'm just I've went 10 blocks up on those two corners and those two corners. 
then I'm going to do what I did on the bottom, on the top, join it all together. That will give me the body of the claymore, so I'm going to do that. And I'm going to be back. Alright, so, this is what you should have. You should have, like I said a couple of times, what you did for the bottom, on the top. Now, the easiest way to do this is to fill... Well, I'll fill this bottom bit in. <clears throat> you basically want to fill all of those walls in with yellow. All of them. Every, uh, every black space with yellow, including the bottom, including the top. So, I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna sleep, because it's getting dark, and then I'll be back. Alright, so you should have filled all of the black lines in with yellow. If it wasn't obvious enough, you obviously want to fill it in black line to black line, you don't want to make a giant fucking rectangle. All the way on top, all the way on the bottom, that took ages, that was painful. So, now we're going to make a bit of the detailing on the front. So, one block away from the top, you want to knock this middle line out, and you want to knock this line out as well. So you want to have that all taken out, then you want to fill it all in with orange. It just gives it... Oh no, it, it adds something. Definitely add something. So you want to go three rows below, so one, two, three, that being the fourth. Knock out the middle bit again. You want to then extend that over to here, leaving that one block on the end there. Same thing on the other side. Then you want to do the same thing for the row below. Knock out all the same blocks, except for the bottom row you want to extend out to here. And here. Fill it all in with orange. What I wanted to do, by the way, which would have been really cool, on most claymores it always says something like, um, something like, front face this way or something, or it says face backwards. It says face something anyway, and it usually has a model number like M8176, whatever. I wanted to put that on, but I'd have to make it a lot bigger to actually get the lettering to make it look right, since the lettering's quite small, which, uh, you know, I just wanted, uh, I wanted to do that, but, you know. Alright, so that's most of the claymore completed. You've got all of the colour on the front, the little legs, all of the colour on the back. There's no orange or anything on the back. Maybe they're supposed to be, but I didn't add it. So all we've got to do is we've got to make the sensor, which starts here, here, comes all the way back. So the middle part of the claymore, one block away from the end, it starts there. And you want to start off with a shape like that. That runs all the way to the back. And then on the last two blocks, you want to raise them, black and yellow, including do that. Then on the last row you want to do black on top of the yellow so you have that sort of shape. Don't ask me why Why is that what it's supposed to do, I have no idea. Then we want to make the two what I imagine are the laser sensors. So bring this out by three, throw a yellow, uh, throw an orange on top in the middle. Same thing on the other side, it's all symmetrical. Like that. So you want to have that for a bit of a front view. Now for the back it is slightly different but you can copy the front onto the back or the back onto the front or whatever. So there you go. And now what you want to do from the back row is you want to make this shape um, let's see yeah you want to do that onto the back let me do the other one and then I'll pan out a little bit
There you go. There's a bit of a closer look if you need it. Like I said, onto the back of it. Then, all you have to do is go to the back of that and fill in this. Just do that shape, uh, a weird looking L, or an L that's fell on its side. The top part is probably the most complicated part of this pixel art, which is kind of funny because it takes about one minute. Right. I'm going to sleep soon, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the lasers. The lasers start one block away from the orange. They come out by three, and then I like... They're like supposed to point diagonally, so you can see what I've done. You don't have to add them if you don't want to, but I like them. And again, I made it, so... You want to have that. All simple, hopefully. All pretty easy. It didn't take long to uh, to make the clay more, so I'm gonna sleep. Gonna pan around it a little bit, and then I'll be back in a second. Right, so there you have it. That's my clay more. That's my best attempt. I wanted to keep it pretty small. I wanted to keep it compact. I didn't want to make it, you know, insanely big and stupidly complicated and stuff because well at the end of the day it's just a curved piece of plastic with a sensor on top so or it might actually be metal I know that some are made of um, I think some are made of fiberglass actually I don't know some are made of some sort of plastic but yeah there you go hope you like it I think it's pretty cool so, for the screenshot, I want to just... It'd be cool if I could get those stupid chickens away. Ah, screw it, I'll leave one chicken in there, it'll get blown up. Alright, thanks for watching. Hey, if you've made it this far into the video, maybe you think I deserve a like. If you want to, comment. And if you're new here, maybe you should think about subscribing. I put out new content at least every other day. And for my fellow video makers, if you're interested in a YouTube partnership, click the link below in the description.